And I've been trying to say this, this is not about race, it's about people getting their together, acting right, acting like you got some common sense. All right, y'all. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're tuning in. I'm grateful to have you here. And we're talking about my man, Jason Aldean, today, one of the greatest country artists of all time, in my personal opinion. I mean, the man's been burning it down since 2005, and it clearly ain't easy being on top because if you haven't heard by now, he's been all over the news lately for his latest hit called Try That in a Small Town because somehow, some way, these radical secularists done found a way to race hustle and try to divide us yet again because they made a huge fuss in the media because of his video for Try That in a Small Town. Supposedly, people took this as a jab at black folks because of the location it was filmed at a courthouse that supposedly somebody got lynched way back in the day. But in reality, if you watch the video, you'll actually find zero ounces of racism whatsoever. I can promise you that. And if, if you do find some offense to it, then clearly something isn't adding up and you're just looking to be offended. But I digress. Definitely go stream that thing. Show them some love if you haven't already. I should have actually done a reaction to it like everyone else did, but I decided to keep it low key this time and just jam it behind the scenes hundreds of times with my wife. But things are still actually heating up and getting spicier with potential lawsuits now coming involving Whoopi Goldberg, CMT, all of that. So I want to find out what's really going on, get into the nitty gritty. Shout out to Justin Reloaded, the man who made this video. I'll give my full thoughts and some additional context at the end. So stay tuned for that. Let's get it popping. Jason Aldean has been undergoing a whole lot of controversy, and there's also a lot of rumors going on that could make this controversy with Jason Aldean about try that in a small town a whole lot bigger if he does end up suing Whoopi Goldberg, if he does end up suing CMT. There's a lot of rumors out there saying that Jason Aldean will sue Whoopi Goldberg and The View and the rest of them. But as you can see in this article right here, it says Jason Aldean fires up crowd with epic pro-America speech, compares spirit of try that in a small town to Boston bombing response let's check out what jason aldean had to say at this concert he's been giving a lot of speeches lately at his concerts in defense of try that in a small town but not only defending the song but celebrating the song for what it truly is supposed to stand for and a lot of people have been coming at jason aldean including myself i've definitely criticized him as well because he did remove six seconds of footage from the try that in a small town music video i wish he would just come out and tell us why because I thought maybe he bent the knee. Maybe Jason Aldean was kind of backing down on the try that in a small town stuff. Maybe he was going to give in to the woke mob and maybe he was going to actually bow down to them, maybe even remove the song eventually. But it seems like that was probably just not his decision. So from what I've heard up to this point, the Fox News station that they had a six second clip of and tried that of a small town showing Antifa burning buildings and spitting on cops and things of that nature. It was copyrighted by from the Fox News source, so they asked Aldine or CMT or whoever his team is behind the scenes making these videos in the public, bringing them into, you know, so we can see them. They asked that they remove that because they didn't have the copyrights to, to that six second clip. So Jason and his wife didn't go in and edit the clip and say, no, we, this, this, you know, people might take offense to this. No, no, no. He had no control over this whatsoever. And I guess as far as the Whoopi Goldberg thing is concerned, from what I've heard, she said something slanderous on The View. I haven't seen the clip. I'll have to go check that out. But supposedly she's been running her mouth. The ladies over there gossiping, doing what they do. A whole lot of not common sense present on that show. I don't know what view that is. It's just not worth watching whatsoever The far, as far as that show is concerned. But not sure if any lawsuits have actually been filed. But I'm sure Jason will fill us in and you know things will play out exactly how they're supposed to in the end. But it seems like Jason Aldean is very much not bending the knee. Now let's check out this clip from Jason Aldean giving a speech about Try That in a Small Town and referencing the Boston Marathon whenever he was doing a show in Boston. Let's check out this clip here. We cut that we thought was a really cool song. The message that we wanted to get out there has completely gotten overshadowed by all the bullshit, all right? And so I was laying in bed last night and I'm thinking to myself, you guys would get this better than anybody, right? Because I remember a time, I think it was April 2013, when the Boston Marathon bombings happened. You guys remember this, right? Crazy times. The last song that happened was a whole, not a small town, a big ass town come together. No matter if you're color, no matter if you're Real unity in times of trial. 
country, and especially Boston, came together to find these two pricks that did that, right? And anybody, any of you guys that would have found those guys before the cops did, I know you guys from Boston, and you guys would have beat the shit out of that dude. Either one. And they had it coming to it. And I've been trying to say this, this is not about race, it's about people getting their shit together, acting right, acting like you got some common sense. And that's why I don't understand the people who are saying, well, if you're going to show stuff from the BLM protest, and why wouldn't you show stuff from J6 in the Capitol? It's like, it doesn't really compare at all. For one, 25 people at Not least at died in the BLM stuff, and only one person died in the J6 stuff. But also, this is about not trying that in a small town. The J6 stuff was all surrounding a government building. The BLM stuff was in residential areas, you know, breaking into stores and looting stores, mom and pop shops. They were burning down buildings, burning down cars. It was crazy and it's happening in residential areas. But those were peaceful protests. But J6, not so peaceful, huh? Mm. That's why he was showing footage of the BLM stuff. I mean, I don't want to speak for the guy, but I would assume that that's why the BLM stuff makes more sense versus the J6 stuff just wouldn't really fit the video like at all. But once again, that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm wrong on that. I don't want to speak for Jason Aldean, but I think that if you showed J6 stuff and the try that in a small town music video, it just wouldn't really make any sense in my opinion. So you're hearing it from the person that made the record. Everybody's trying to tell me what I meant. You meant this, you meant that. They don't know what I meant. What I meant was exactly what I just told you. We are a country, the greatest one in the world. Amen. And I know you guys are like me. You want to be able to send your kids to school and not have to worry about something happening while they're in school. Or let them go to a movie on the weekend, just like we all did growing up, and not have to worry about are they going to come home or not, right? To me, that's not that's not a racial issue. I don't give a shit what color you are. If you're if you're acting acting out, burning down buildings, costing taxpayers all this money just for you to go and show that you're pissed off, to me, I just don't get that. I, we we just are never gonna see eye to eye on that kind of shit. And if the song really was about race, then why would he get on stage over and over again and talk about how the song is not about race? Like if there was actually some dog whistles within the song that was trying to be, you know, saying that Jason Aldean was racist, you know, trying to spread to his fans through dog whistles that he is a racist, then I don't understand why he would get on stage and say how he is not that at all and that the song wasn't about that whatsoever. I think he probably would just either one, stay quiet on it so that the dog whistles can do their work or two, just come out and straight up say, yeah, it was about race. Obviously, he'd probably never do this second one because that'd be kind of career toaster bath but the first one would probably be the the way to go if this was actually a song about race and dog whistles and stuff like that jason aldean is not racist there's he, he believes the same thing i do one race one blood created by god 99.999 percent of people in the world today do not care what level of melanin content you do or don't have they it, it, it bears no importance on the day-to-day -day actions. It, it's about the content of your character, not the color of your skin, as MLK said back in the day. That holds true then, holds true now, forever. You need to prioritize getting to heaven through Jesus Christ, the son, eternal salvation. That should be the focus, lifting up your neighbor, loving your neighbor as yourself, not worrying about what they, they do or don't look like or what language they do or don't speak, taking care of people because they're humans, period. That's what Jason Aldean represents. But I want to say, honestly, I want to say thank you guys so much because you guys saw what was trying to happen here over the last couple weeks. People wanted nothing more. A lot of people wanted nothing more than for this song to, you know, be something that it wasn't. Wanted you guys to turn on me and think I was something that I wasn't. Division sales. And it makes me, it makes me very proud the fact that all you guys can see that and go, uh-uh, not this time. <laughs> And not only did they want the song to be about something that it's not, but they also wanted the song to fail, and it definitely didn't do that. Ever since mm -hmm. Jason Aldean got canceled for Try That in a Small Town, the, the views on the song, the plays on the song, have gone up 999% to where it's number two on the charts right now. So it's pretty insane. It's had the complete opposite effect from what they were hoping the effect would be on Jason Aldean.
And you guys took this song and I love in the video, and you guys have made this thing one of the biggest things I've ever had in my career. And from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you guys for hearing the song. Thank you guys for hearing the song, seeing the video, watching it with an open mind, seeing what it was about. And uh, you guys have no idea how much that means to me. So thank y'all so much. It really got awesome. And like you said right there, it's been one of the biggest things in Jason Aldean's career. It's pretty wild how that's the effect that cancel culture has now. Now, if you're able to stand up to the mob, if you don't actually bend the knee, then you'll be rewarded for that greatly. And we've seen that. And that's another reason why I think it makes no sense why Jason Aldean would have been the one to take the six seconds out of his music video. I don't think he did. I, matter of fact, I, I can guarantee he did not. And what I don't get is how CMT supposedly pulled this from the charts where usually if you submit a record, especially a video, the label has already seen it. Well, CMT isn't a label. I, I don't believe it's, you know, country music television or something along those lines. But why would they pull it if most likely they already saw it? They only removed it because they heard some rumors that it may be racist and they didn't want that level of controversy as a business. I, I kind of get it. They don't want to be affiliated with that whatsoever. But if they already had heard the song, then they for themselves could discern the fact that there's no racist narrative whatsoever in the song. But I, I, it just doesn't make any sense to me. But what's even worse is that today's cattywampus culture, they got everything twisted. Like people idolize women openly degrading themselves in these derogatory videos and lyrics and just flaunting it out there and glorifying it. You got satanic worship literally getting pushed at these globally televised award shows like the Grammys, music promoting gang banging, killing, stealing, thugging, getting high is the norm and that's promoted as acceptable and they elevate you to the top of the charts when you're talking about that stuff. But, oh, the minute a white dude with some twang in his voice comes out with an anthem in support of, you know, close-knit communities, loving each other, taking care of the people around them, patriotism for the great United States of America that all of us listen to listening to these music videos and things that we live in the freedoms that we're afforded every single day when somebody stands up for that promotes that honors that when that happens all hell breaks loose and, and somehow that's not okay but the alternative is the latter is acceptable come on now get, get out of here with that crap i'm not buying it and god bless jason aldean and his family and just not backing down to people that try to ruin this country this woke mob these ideologies that are not what our country was founded upon. Like our country was founded upon godly principles and human decency and a moral compass aligned with righteousness. Now I know not everybody lives that way. Not everybody, you know, fears God and, and loves God and looks to Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. They'll have to work that out come come judgment day or hopefully before then, matter of fact. But I'm not here to give you a biblical rant today. But God bless all the real Americans that aren't afraid to still stand up for those freedoms, like Jason Aldean, like other country singers like uh Brantley Gilbert and, and Blake Shelton and other people that are standing up and standing out and saying, no, 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 we're not buying this. This nothing racist about this whatsoever. Y'all need to stop with this because people that got offended by this have no common sense. Basically, I rock with anybody that still has enough common sense to not be offended by this sort of video because there's nothing in it at all that warrants this division and hostility and, and blowback and this, this lashing out saying, oh, he filmed this video in front of a courthouse where somebody was lynched way back in the day. Whether that did or didn't happen, that's not why he filmed it there. I can almost guarantee it wasn't saying anything along those lines whatsoever, but people always want to reach and take it there and find a reason to get triggered and find a reason to just get upset about something in their feelings. And what we need to do is get back to a time where people have that thick skin. They can take it on the chin and they wake up every single day focused on one thing, and that's suiting up, booting up, and putting on the full armor of God, going out and serving in their communities, helping lift up the people around them, struggling, loving their neighbor as themselves. And that starts with, you got to love the content of your own DNA first. You can't think you're, you're you're a woman when you're in fact a man you can't think that there's these unlimited genders you got to go out there you got to recognize what you are and that you are blessed to be in whatever situation you are in right now and you can come up out of whatever struggle and trial and tribulation that you may face and people are there to help you come together unite love and lift each other up that's how we elevate and get over all of this chaos right here and not you know be be triggered in snowflakes running wild trying to cancel everything under the sun just because the next man or woman doesn't fold up and, and bow the knee 
lead to this, this wokeism. Like that, that's not a religion. That's not a real thing. We need to turn back to truth. We need to reach repentance first and foremost, turn from your wickedness, your darkness, lean it on your own accord, recognize that there's a plan tried and true from eternity to eternity. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Dive into that Bible, apply it to your life, allow Jesus to transform your heart as your Lord and Savior. Let him be the lamp that guides your feet every single day. And all of this, you wouldn't be worried about all these petty issues. There wouldn't be any issues whatsoever. The only thing that you would be doing is trying to go out, be salt and light of the earth and guide people to the kingdom, AKA eternal salvation. Cause wide is the gate, wide is the path that leads to destruction. And we see many going by it. All these uh, flagrant rap artists and, and musicians that promote this nonsense of sexual perversion and lust and, and gang bang. All this culture that we see, wide is the path that leads to destruction. Don't buy in to the mainstream media, all the hype, what everybody else is doing. Narrow is the gate. Narrow is the way that leads to salvation, that leads to eternal happiness. We're all going to die in a, in a flesh sense, but where's your spirit going when, when you die? Do you Are you saved or are you not saved? Are you going to hell, eternal destruction, a punishment, lake of fire, or are you going to be in heaven? I'm just saying, I always have to tie it back in because that's what's important at the end of every single day. And no matter what, we might as well just keep chilling on a dirt road and swerving because it all comes back around against people that wrongfully treat others. Don't you worry. What, what's done in the dark will always be brought to light, whether it's Whoopi Goldberg or any of these other glorified Hollywood delusional characters promoting sin and hating righteousness. God is always going to get his praise. Every single knee will bow and confess Christ as Lord when it's all said and done. So you need to Focus on what's important. Lift people up. Always stay planted firmly in the foundation of truth, which is Jesus Christ. Don't build your house on sand where the rain comes, the wind blows, everything comes crashing down. Build it on the rock. That's forever not changing. I can promise you that. And at the end of the day, God always wins. But I know I have a tendency of going on these long rants and tangents because I'm passionate about this and I don't find any fault or anything wrong of what his song was about, the video, any of that, what it portrayed. I didn't find any hint of racism whatsoever. But what do y'all think? Did you find this motivated in that way in any shape, sense, or form? Or is it just another country hit that you could roll the windows down and go about your business, jam, and get in a good mood to? I thought it was extremely patriotic. It was extremely sentimental in the in a sense of, hey, we come together, we take care of our own. And I love that. And if you act up, if you go against that, if you want to try to burn and bash and, and harm innocent people, try that in a small town because we stand up for ours. We don't we combat that. We clap back and we don't bow down to this nonsense, to this this hateful, spiteful foolishness. That's just my take on it, but I would love to hear your thoughts. Let's keep this conversation rolling. Don't forget to like this video by smashing the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring the notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a video, just in case YouTube forgets to let you know. I appreciate you. I love y'all for doing so. If you want to take it a step further, you like what we're doing over here, you want to show a little extra love and support, by no means do you have to, but you can get awesome designs like this, Godfidence, knowing I can't, but he can. These designs are made over my wife's Etsy store by her, customized in-house, all of that, insulated tumblers, petite, teat, small sizes to big, big and hefty for the 5X folks out there, all different sizes and colors. Like I said, we don't discriminate. We appreciate y'all. It goes a very long way and allowing me to continue to do what I do. All my other links are down below in the description section. Shout out to the Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee fam. Anybody who's ever joined the Gibson family on YouTube by hitting that little join button and becoming a member, I'm so grateful for y'all. I can't thank you enough and put into words and context just how appreciative I am for you guys showing up every single video and allowing my freckle face to rant at you. I just love y'all so much and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up. I'll be praying for you. Until next time, Godspeed, I'm gone.